Hello and good morning. Well, it's just morning here where I'm at. I'm not sure if it's morning where you are watching this or when you will be watching it. I am in Florida, specifically at Marco Island, and more specifically at Tiger Tail Beach. Now, this is the first time that I've ever been to Tiger Tail, so we're gonna have a good time. Let's go shallow. Now I'm aware that there's two ways to get to the beach here at Tiger Tail. Uh, you can cross the lagoon over there behind me as a shortcut, and then uh, you can go straight around the long way, which is the direction that I'm going. I'm going to go the long way because, again, I've never been here, and uh, I want to experience the whole beach. So, I'll catch you when we get there. This is a longer walk than I anticipated, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's a really long walk. And it's August, so it is hot. I think the temperature is 94 degrees, 95 maybe. <laughs> it's oppressively hot. Okay, so we finally made it down to the beach. And I'm telling you, it is really hot. But it's cool here, and I mean cool. By cool, I mean it's just beautiful. So we are going to explore this beach and see if we can find any shells. Kick the day off with a beautiful little calico scallop. The color of this water. Oh my gosh, man. Beautiful. I'll look at a nice pattern on it. First gastropod of the day. Okay. okay, I'm out here on a beautiful little sandbar. Oh, this is perfectly, this is everything that I wanted Tiger Tail Beach to be. It's not crowded, um, and it's just beautiful here today. The water's gorgeous, it's a little hot, the water's hot, but we're gonna continue looking for shells here. Beautiful, a little apple murex. Second gastropod of the day. Nice find. and pointy. Beautiful. Oh, it's home. Nice little, almost blonde fighting con. First real gastropod of the day, or at least large one. Gorgeous. All right, a gorgeous little fighting conch. Pick him up to say hi. Hey, dude. How are you doing? Look at those little eyes. Hey, buddy. Look at the color of that shell. That's pretty. You got a nice little home, man. I'm going to put you back, okay? 
Thanks for saying hi. Okay, buddy. This is a semi. Ah, nice shell. Not totally whole, but still really beautiful. But I am not going to keep it. Just wanted to show the kid. So, kind of cool, uh, I'm walking all the way down to the end of uh, Tiger Tail Beach here to the peninsula, uh, the end point here, between this and I believe Key Waden is the other island. Um, and uh, yeah, it's great. I'm, I'm like the only person down here. It's beautiful. It's a little hot, but uh, we're having fun. So I'm excited to be going along on this adventure. Let's keep going. Hopefully there's a little bit more here. These weigh your bag down really quickly, so I'm not going to keep it. But it's a beautiful Florida fighting car. Alright, I just found a beautiful moon here. Oh, look at that. That is spectacular. I don't know what kind of moon that is. Maybe some color form of a Gaudinatica? I don't know, but that is my favorite find so far today. Look at that. When I'm absolutely stumped on a shell ID, I usually reach out to my friend, Dr. Ed Pituk, for an assist. A malacologist and professor emeritus, Ed has written hundreds of publications on mollusks and marine ecosystems from all over the world, a few of which I have in my Shell Books collection. Upon first glance, one might be inclined to speculate that the shell is simply a blonde version of a Gaudinatica, but it's actually an entirely separate species. Looking through one of Ed's books, titled Mollusks and Marine Environments of the 10,000 Islands, I could see that this shell is actually a Naticarius verae, or Vera's moon snail, and is endemic to the 10,000 islands and other adjacent type localities, such as Marco Island. If you're interested in learning more about Ed's book, Mollusks and Marine Environments of the 10,000 Islands, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, let's get back to shelling. Nice orange. I think I might keep him. Okay. I do see something. Or at least I saw something. Yes. This here. Little Florida horse conch. No one home. And a little juvenile. Oh. So if you look here, there's definitely. Okay, I'm around the back side of Marco Island, and it seems like this is where everything is. So, we got a fighting conch, we got a little band of tulip here, with no one home, that'll clean up really well. Oh yeah, there's a hermit in there. You always gotta check, y'all. I'm serious. Uh, no one home in that, it's a little shark eye. Beautiful. 
up here that looks suspicious. Almost golden. This is a good spot here though. Hopefully my phone doesn't overheat again. Because it's been doing that. It's been very, very hot. Doesn't look like anybody shells over here. Which is kind of cool. Because I think there's tons of shells. Which there are. Lots of little olives and stuff. Nice little tulip here. No one here. Gorgeous rough scallop here. It is like red, man. Look at that. Nice. Hi, little horsey. There it is. All right, so I just explored down to the end of Tiger Tail here. Uh, again, I'm pretty much the only person. <laughs> it's great. Um, and uh, I'm going to be heading, walking back this way. And uh, now that the tide's starting to come back in, hopefully we can uh, have some more goodies washed up on the beach. Like, just found one. Beautiful A little horsey. Not in the best condition, but still pretty. This is why you gotta look close, y'all. I walked right past this little top. Such a cool find. First apple murex of the day. Not in the best shape, but you gotta keep your first apple murex. No? Nicer one here. Where are we at? Okay, that's better. Look at that one. Nice little apple. Love those orange calicos. Nice little gaudy natica. Perfect. Nice. Thank you very much for coming along with me today here at Marco Island. Found a bunch of cool shells, including what I think is a golden olive. Um, that's only my second one ever, so uh, kind of psyched about that. Um, yeah, it's super hot. We've got a thunderstorm rolling in, so I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for coming along, and I'll see you on that next one.